Zach. Morning, Jim. I ran that thing for an hour and a half last night. Guess what I did? I broke two more disc blades. No. Yeah. <laughs> And I raised them up a ways. I don't know if it's just the amount of rocks. I don't know what's going on. We're gonna run. We're gonna run without them now. The rest of this field. So I'm gonna go out there and see if I can find some this morning. Some, two of them anyway. <laughs> one of them broke the C shank. The other one must have broke the bolts that go through the bearing casting. Oh, like the other one did. Yeah, because the shank is fine. It's just the the bearing, the casting, and the bearing. The whole disc blade's missing. What the hell is going on with everything? I don't understand. Morning, Didge. I don't know where your friend is. She is definitely on an adventure of some sort. A little frosty out this morning. It got down to about 30 degrees last night for four or five hours according to the weather channel. It's that time of year. Oh, there you are. Come here. Oh, she's got to circle it first. You can't just get in. You have to go around the machine. Look at how full of things you are. What the heck? Here, let me get those. Otherwise, they're going to end up in there. I mean, you kind of, you did this to yourself, huh? My gosh, what were you doing? Probably chasing a cat or something, weren't you? You were never out of breath in the morning. You're a pretty lazy dog. Oh, uh, in the last video, if you saw, we've been breaking some of these. It's the sea shank right here that breaks usually, kind of like, like this one right here. That's the part that breaks. But we've got another one over there that's missing. It looks like the bolts right here just broke because the sea shank is fine. So I'm gonna head out here. I only went for an hour, hour and a half last night. I'm gonna go out here and see if I can locate them. Man, is it nice having a vehicle with good heat and window defrost for stuff like this on a cold morning. Yahtzee on one of them. All right, we're halfway there. Boy, not only does that look heavy, but it looks cold. I don't have my gloves on me. Here we go. Well, the bearing housing's all good. Everything's fine, we just need a set of bolts. I bet if I looked real hard, there's a set of them along here somewhere that could be welded up. Just barely touching the ground with them now, that's good. And I think it's doing a fine job without them. Yeah, that'll work. If we break any at that depth, we really got issues. There we go. Number two's been located. Even if we aren't fixing them or running them today, it makes me feel better knowing I got them off the field. Otherwise, they lay here all winter and we find them with the rock picker in the spring. Morning. Morning. How'd you do? You find them? I found them both. So the only one we're missing is that one up on Persons Field. Okay, and that'll show up in the digger this yeah. spring or next spring or sometime. Right, yeah. Dad's got two trucks all checked over. I'm gonna head for this one. Check the oil, check the tires, maybe wash the windshield. And this one really seems to want a new air filter, which we've got in the shop now. I would love to add a fourth truck to this lineup. I just don't know what oil sticks over here on this one. We really like our free emissions T800s. Those are good trucks, but I'm open to anything. I just, we could use a fourth truck once in a while. Like I need a third arm when I'm taking video and doing other stuff. Anyway, if you have a pre-emissions T800 out there in good shape, I don't want your junk, but in good shape, I'm, I'm probably interested. Toss these here for later. Everything's getting muddy now when the frost comes off. One of those guys, and one of them was in the combine while it happened. <laughs> should I climb up this bin? I'm sure, we got plenty of room. According to the math, we should have plenty of room. Oh, man. See, that's what worries me about the new one. It won't be any better. This one didn't run in the field that much yesterday. Fresh air.
Another thing, I always need fuel in the morning and it's expensive. All fueled up, time to... <coughs> and take two, action. All fueled up, time to move south. A lot of roadblocks this morning. It's late. You want me to follow you, Dad? Of course, that would be preferred. 280, 290 acres left. Today's gonna be slow. It's gonna be a lot of end rows, plus we gotta move down, plus it's already after 10 o'clock. That's okay. And then tomorrow we are gonna take out some test plot stuff. That's gonna be slow as well. So we're under 300 acres, but it's gonna be probably, not probably, it will be our slowest 300 acres. Kinda nice to be back in the combine. I spent a lot of days running the dryer and moving trucks around and fixing the ripper, which I really honestly don't mind. I mean, I've said, said it many times I'd rather really be the gopher than sit in the same cab for a month yeah yeah someone needs to wash these windows let me know if someone's coming Josh I'm kind of in a bad spot here but I can pull over more generating autopath guidance there you could see it's a little tougher to see now but we had all our different varieties in there I think uh, I'll just go around this whole thing so you can kind of follow me at a distance and then uh, we'll dump what we need to. Josh, if you just want to wait out on the road until we got a load in here, that'd be great. That's one. It's going to be a beautiful day to harvest. Load one for the day. We never like stopping to dump, but sometimes when you're on the ends here, there's just nothing. It's just the most efficient way. You do it a couple of times and then you turn around and go the other way around the field and you're good to go. the machine sink set up here now so I can push a little button down here on my trigger finger and I can move the cart forward and backwards if I turn left he turns left if I turn right he turns right if I speed up he speeds up it's pretty cool so that tractor is being run off of the GPS of this tractor combine everything I do this machine will follow speed side to side around corners you name it and of course I can nudge him front to back uh, if the center of the cart's getting full and I need to move him forward or backwards, I can do that. Lunchtime. Bison steak strip from uh, Dakota Pure Bison. Highly recommend. Not an advertisement, by the way. They're just a great family and stuff is delicious. Welcome to the Midday Farm Review on the Linder Farm Network. You guys have heard me talk about Element before. That's the drink that I mix in with water and it keeps me hydrated. It's full of electrolytes. There's no sugar in it, nothing dodgy. Just mix it up with some water and it's going to give your body everything you need to stay fully hydrated. Well now, it is that time of year where you can now get Element in the chocolate medley mix here. So they've got chocolate mint, chocolate chai, and chocolate raspberry. You can drink this stuff hot, you can mix it with your coffee if you want in the mornings, whenever. I'm gonna go for the chocolate raspberry because that seems like the one that would fit me the best. Just pour it in there, loaded full of a thousand milligrams of sodium, bunch of potassium, bunch of magnesium. And you might be thinking, you know, it's almost winter now, do I really need to recharge my electrolytes? But what about people that are shoveling snow? especially around the farm if you're working around buildings you're shoveling snow you're probably still working with livestock even though it's winter because livestock don't really care they want to be fed no matter what season it is or what about skiers or snowboarders or my personal favorite snowmobiling or my kids are in hockey we give it to them before hockey practice all the time that's cold chocolate raspberry but i can tell it would taste good if i heated it up the biggest reason i keep drinking it even when it's a cold minnesota winter is because in the cold minnesota winter i have more time to exercise which i do a fair amount of this time of year and the leg cramps just get worse when i do that so i keep drinking it just to keep myself hydrated because it really has helped my leg cramps a ton but you can only get the chocolate medley pack from now through january january 31st so make sure you get over there it's only for a limited time 
So try it out. Head over to drinkelement.com slash farmer or there is a link right down below. You can check that out. And when you do that, you can go over there and get your eight free sample packs so you can find the flavor that you like the most for you. And as always, they have an absolutely no questions asked return policy. So if for some weird reason you don't like the stuff, all you have to do is let them know and they will refund you your money back. To quarter and down seven. March is at 417 and a half, down seven and a quarter. No, oh, good. Nine All the markets are down again. That's, down that's awesome. I'm a southwest Minnesota better than I had been hearing uh, late last week, but particularly up in the, in, there are areas up there that are 20, 30 bushel over their average yields. And okay, you can go fill another truck. We switched fields because we got done what we could in that first field and ended up um, leaving some because it's all test plot stuff, test strips that we're going to take out tomorrow. So this field here was one of our first planted, it's an early maturity and my average moisture right now is 13.9. Five to four so far, uh, I know this is the end, but this load is averaging just under 14% moisture. So this can go straight to the GSI. Okay, that's, I was kind of guessing this whole field cut because it was planted in April and it's 95 feet corn. Yep, I'm just letting you know. I hope, hope it's that way as well. But right now, I honestly don't know if the camera picks it up or not, but I can't see much out of these windows at all. I'm going pretty slow here, just trying not to crash into anything because we are also on the edge of the field, but with as dry as the corn is this year, and this being our driest field so far, I'm still averaging about 14. I mean, the dust and the sun going down and the dirty windows. This is when Autopath is nice. So it's following right now the exact line that the planter laid down and it just knows that. So I'm putting a lot of trust in that right now. But it's not very comfortable, to be honest with you. I don't like it. I certainly don't do this often, but I gotta wash the windows. You see all this stuff? It's all over the windows. And the mirrors. See, watch this. Here we go, you ready? You'll be able to tell. Did the camera pick that up? Can you see? I really hope the camera picks up how awesome that moon is tonight. That pink and blue horizon is real too. That's a real thing for people that live in the city, maybe don't get to see that often. That's a beautiful sight. Got our machine sink going here so we can go around the corners on the end rows. Works pretty nice. Yeah, I don't know if I can remember another harvest where we would get through from beginning to end with no rain delay. When you're empty there, if you want to spin around behind me and pull up next to me, I'll put about 7,000 on there. Pretty boring day overall which is fantastic. And I'm not sorry, that means things went fairly well for us. Either way, no matter what, we got at least two days of combining left here. It's gonna be slower tomorrow with that test plot. Yeah, all good things, we're getting there.